Hey everybody and welcome back to French Run lesson number six. Today we're going to learn about a basic warm-up and what to do in order to be warmed up. So a warm-up is what happens in between taking your instrument out of the case and sitting down and playing at the concert. It helps get your face all ready for playing the instrument and it helps remind you of what you're supposed to be doing to get a good sound on the French warm. So what I like to do for my warm-ups is I first start with just buzzing in my mouthpiece. I'll do a little bit of the breathing and then bringing my lips together to get a nice buzz out like this. Just kind of letting whatever pitch wants to come out, come out. Then I'll get to some of the sirens that we were talking about earlier. So I'll start low and then I'll go higher and then I'll go lower and then I'll go higher and then I'll find the middle ground like this. And then I'll do some of these things called roller coasters, which you go up and you go down a little and you go back up and yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. Like this. That just gets all the little facial muscles in here warmed up, get your lips buzzing and ready to go for the day. Then I will plug my mouthpiece back into my horn and I will just start off with some long tones on my G. Everybody, you can do this with me. Making sure you're saying two when you first start to play. what is called a slur. So I'll slur from my G to my C. A slur means I don't tongue in between the notes. You just kind of let it fall down. Whatever happens on the way down happens for now. You're probably going to play an E in between your G and your C. Like this. Just kind of let the air go down. It's I know it's so like in your head, it's so mental, it's so much in your brain, but that's all brass playing really is. Starting from G and letting the air fall down through your E and to your C. Again. Again. What really makes that easier is keeping your support, supporting your air. Just kind of have like a feeling of compression, a feeling of like a slight bit of pressure, kind of like you're doing a crunch, but not painful. You have that kind of feeling in your abs, in your, in your tummy area as you're doing that. And also just in general, as you're playing, it helps keep you in a good, it helps, it helps you sound good. Try that again. And I want you to think of the compression or the pressure that is happening in your stomach area. See if you can make that happen faster with less of the stuff in between. All open, remember? See if you can get that E to disappear, just G to C. See, if that's not working out, totally fine. Try tonguing the G and then tonguing the C. Ta, ta. And now, that's it. now that that's in your ear, try just slurring it. No tongue in between. That usually helps just get my face ready to move around the horn. So like going up in the scales that we were doing from C to G. And yeah, I just really like doing my lip slurs. It helps me feel kind of elastic, kind of stretchy, like a rubber band in my face. 
And then the last thing I do is tonguing, just practicing my tonguing. So what we'll do is we'll go C, D, E, F, G, tonguing all of them like this. Try that with me. I'll go a little slower for you. And I'll go back down. One more time. Cool. That tonguing warm up especially helps me just remember how I'm supposed to tongue, where I'm supposed to tongue, especially. It should be where your teeth meet your gums, in your mouth, kind of like, ah, right back there. Awesome. Now that we have warmed up, I would like to draw our attention to our A2 that we have. So the notes that we have in order, I want you to take your pencil. You better have a pencil with you. I want you to take your pencil and I want you to write in as we go. So on top of the staff, on top of that chunk of lines that we have, I want you to write the names of the notes. So the very first one that we have is a C. The next one, I wanna see if you can beat me to saying these. The next one that we have is an E. Then we have a D. And that is going to be quarter, quarter, half note. Remember how we talked about that earlier? I had it up on my whiteboard. Quarters get one beat against my chest and then half notes gets two. So it'll sound like, I'll play it for you later. You'll understand. We have C, E, D. Then in the next kind of measure, they're called measures, separated by those bar lines, we have D, F, E. And make sure you're writing these above the notes because something is going to go below the notes. Then we have F, E, D, C, D, D. And then you guys sit D. Those are quarter, 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 half note. So all we have in this piece are quarter notes and half notes. Then the next measure, it repeats. You will see the very first two measures on the top line are the same as the next two measures on the bottom line. So that is again, C, E, D, D, F, E. Now the last two measures that we have are going to be G, F, E, D, C, C, C. Now that we have our note names written in, and you'll know what I'm referring to when I call them by the note names, I wanna write in the fingerings if you need them. You might not, and that's great, but we're gonna go through for those of us who need to write in the fingerings. This is really good practice for beginners, just knowing what notes are and knowing what fingerings they are. Being able to write them in will really help you see will really help you when you see them and you need to remember what they are in context in your music. So the fingerings from the beginning are C, E, oh. So the fingerings from the beginning are open, open, one. The next measure is D, F, oh my God. The next measure is one, one, open. Then the next measure is one, open, one, open. The last measure on the top line is one, one, one. And you'll just leave your finger down for that. You won't have to pick up one, one, one every time. Then the second line, the second, the top line and the bottom line, the bottom line starts with open, open, one, 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 open. And then we end with G, which is open, F, which is one, E, which is open, D, which is one, and then three C's, open, open, open. I'm going to play through this and I want you to take your pencil and I want you to follow along with the music. We're going to have our metronome on 80 beats per minute. It sounds like that. And I'm going to play along and I would just like for you guys to follow along in your music.
that made sense to you guys. If not, I'm gonna go through it just one more time and I'm gonna go through it just a little bit slower. So I'm moving my metronome down to 64 beats per minute. Here we go. Breathing. <sighs> people sound like when we are done at the end of next time's lesson. So let's work through this one together. It starts out with open, open one. So let's see if we can do C to E to D. I'll play it, then you'll play it. Your turn. Now I'm going to play the next measure, measure two, which is one, one, open, or D, F, E. Now in between that D that I have in the first measure and the second measure, I'm not gonna leave my, pick my finger up, I'm just gonna leave it down because it's already down and that's the next note that we have to play anyway. Second measure. Your turn. See if we can play the first measure with the second measure. Now that we've learned the first measure and the second measure, surprise, we've already learned the fifth measure and the sixth measure because it's the same. I wrote this, so you're welcome for making it easy on you guys. Uh, the next measure is going to be F E D C, which is one open, one open. Let's try that. F E D C. Here's F. Here we go. Let's try that again. Okay, if you're not getting this one, let's just do the let's just do the third measure, F E D C. And now let's add on the third, the the fourth measure, the three Ds. Your turn. Let's string those both together. Let's try this. I'll play a measure, you'll play a measure. I'll play the next measure, you'll play the next measure. And we'll go back and forth like that. Here's the first measure by me. Your turn. Your turn. Your turn. Let's see if we can do it all together at the same time. The whole first line together. Here we go. Five, six, breathe, play. the rest of this one for next time's lesson. I think we made some really good progress today. We know all of our notes. That's down pat. We know how to warm up now. So I think we should do that before the next lesson that we have together. And we can play the first half of our etude. Thank you guys for joining me. Have a nice day.